stop, look for the next five seconds, or Dollar Day will triple think you out of the air. L2, L2. You know you don't want that to happen. That fades. Hey guys, it's Snap here, back at you with another video. <clears throat> More appropriately, returning. The new season of Fortnite has been out for a little bit over a week or two. And the community has had its time to experiment with the game and Epic has had time to make some tweaks with the game. This video is here to discuss what is new, improved, still broken, and what plain out just sucks. Besides talking about what's new and the new changes, we will also be talking briefly about how the game can improve to better itself. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, please subscribe, it helps me out so much. Besides that, let's get right into this video. Just a disclaimer really quickly before this video starts, this video is here to spark discussion. So down in the comments below, I want you guys to be talking, asking questions that maybe I can respond or another person can respond to. I want to see some interaction in the comments hopefully. If that is possible, then I did a good job with this video. Besides that, let's get right into this video. Enjoy. First topic I want to start off with is talking about the map. Fortnite map last season was a big topic for the community for many reasons. One was that the map just plain out was boring and sucked and others wanted old locations back for nostalgic purposes. With the new chapter came new parts of the map. We have three major new locations right now and many smaller spots. The first main location is called Reality Falls. Reality Falls is a large tree surrounded by various vegetation, waterfalls, and lots of loot. It introduces the new mushrooms that you can gain HP from and bounce on. There is a flow that blows up in the air that you can glide from in the middle of the tree. There are many chest spawns and lots of floor loot. And not to mention there are many secret locations to discover like how you can enter the waterfall. Second main location is called Rave Cave. It is a party themed mountain that was added. It's colorful, bright, and as Fortnite intended, it's an overall cool vibe. It is surrounded by air tunnels that can be used to rotate. We last saw these air tunnels in Season 10. And not to mention, the ballers are back, which we also haven't seen since Season 10. But the ballers are only available in casual pubs. And, as I said, like Reality Falls, there are many secret locations scattered all over to be discovered. The last and newest addition is Logjam Lotus. It is a small name POI that was added the day of recording, which is June 21st. I got some gameplay footage which I'll put on screen, but sadly I didn't get to explore as much and also I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible, but I'll put some pictures up on screen so you guys can see what it looks like. Lastly, I want to talk about the changing locations like Tilted Towers. Tilted Towers seems to be getting a constructive makeover. This means it's changing. We aren't sure exactly what it's going to be in the end, but we have to wait and see. Another big notable change to a name POI is Greasy. Greasy Grove got a big makeover, being overtaken by vegetation and the mushrooms. The main building is now destroyed and on top of a mushroom. Last but not least, I know I already said last, but I forgot to talk about this. I wanted to talk about the new and returning locations that we have gotten this season. For example, a dusty building has appeared suddenly on the map, and not so far from it is the OG chair we haven't seen since chapter 1. The shark is also back, but besides that, there are many new small locations. An example of this is stuff like Drill Hill and a new part of the map that resembles Loot Lake. Second topic I want to talk about is the new items and features that were added to the game. Firstly, let's talk about the new items and guns that were added. New guns include the Hammer AR, Two Shot Shotgun, and DMR. These new guns are all available in all rare These new guns are available in all rarities. Heavy Sniper has returned to arena and pubs. Many were happy that this gun returned. And a gun that has gone away that has really affected the community in a positive way is the drum shotgun. A little side note, this gun made the spray meta last season 10 times worse, especially with the stingers. Lastly, launches have been taken out of the game though other rotation of items are now available. For example, the Riftigos and Shockwaves are back. Now that we have the new items out of the way, I wanna talk about new features. The vaults on the map no longer require key cards. They now require two people to open them, though I believe you can exploit it with the NPC. New falling boulders were added, similar to the falling trees that were added previously. 
I think this was a good feature to add because I like the aspect of playing with the environment. A new thing called storm sickness was added. This was added to combat people exploiting heals to sit in storm and win the game. And the most important change of the whole season, drum roll please, boars have been added to the game. All jokes aside, it's a new NPC slash mob that spawns and you can attack it and ride it. Pretty fun stuff. These are the additions and removals to the season so far. Before we move on, I wanted to dedicate a little section to movement this season. In terms of flying in the air, we have a lot of new spots to do so. Like I mentioned before, the mainstream reality falls is one of them. Slipstreams around the rave cave, geysers, and lastly naturally spawned launch pads. The rotation that was removed are the launch pads and the cannons. IO cars have returned to arena but only in a limited amount and boats are still in the game. Lastly, if you so desire, you can rotate and interact with the boars and wolves in the game. Now let's get into what you've all been waiting for, competitive and arena. Let's start off on something a little bit exciting. Lands are back. Dreamhack Sweden occurred on June 18th to June 20th. Many people attended, but on the other hand, the main LAN event everyone is excited for is FNCS Lands. It will take place on November 12th and 13th. Sadly for right now, it's invite only. But you still have a chance to compete if you catch Epic's attention through the coming FNCS. Something that's a big topic so far this season is Arena. Epic has finally fixed the Arena system. Epic fixed the game so that you can verse people with your own points. Say you are Contender League 7, you will only be fighting against Contender League 7 players. No more competing with Champ League players if you're lower than champs. In my opinion, it's great that Fortnite did this. Making games more balanced brings quality to the matches and the game itself. There are also no more vehicles in Arena besides the few IO cars on the map, though those have been balanced out, and Riftigos have been removed from Arena, though they added a new item called the Grapple Glove. It is similar to the Spider-Man Mythic, except its use is only limited to 10 shots. Last part of this section, I want to talk about tournaments. Fortnite has already ran a few performance evaluation cups, as well as the first few cash cups and super hype cups. Super hype cups were new this season. They gave players a chance to earn arena points before the points reset. They would be added to the players points after the reset. Fortnite has added quick cups. These cups only last 5 matches in an hour and 30 minutes. Top 3 earns money. There are also zero build cups but sadly there are no daily cups that Epic promised. To win money in regular tournaments, it's top 30 for duo cups, top 40 for solo cups. Little side note I wanted to talk about is the Fortnite competitive Discord server that they're adding. It's a support server. Its purpose is so players can report bugs and cheaters to Epic staff, preferably mid-tournament. I hope it works out, it's a really good idea, but will only be effective if the staff actually cares to interact with the Discord. Alright, to wrap up this video, I want to talk briefly about the improvements Epic can make to the game and the season. The main positive thing that I noticed this season is that community interaction will increase and has increased. Through this newfound communication, Fortnite needs to keep the game fresh, showing that they pay attention and care about what their community thinks of their game. For example, when the Spray and Prey meta came back with the Stingers and Combat SMGs, Fortnite may have tweaked the guns here and there, but the meta basically stayed the same the whole season. Upon the negative reviews in the community, Epic did not change the game. Another thing that I would like to see return is the weekly updates. Fortnite once had a state of glory, where new content was pumped out every week. Though it may be difficult now, due to certain circumstances. When these weekly updates were released, this is when Fortnite was in its prime. That's when Fortnite was the most fun. Competitive and casual. If Fortnite can miraculously make these updates weekly again with new content being pumped out, quality content, then the game could improve incredibly. Arena needs to be fixed, not in the way of divisions or progressing, but in the way of incentive. The point of grinding Arena is to hit champs so that you can play in tournaments and FNCS. Besides that, after players hit champs, they have really no reason to play besides practice. But due to things like scrims and creative matchmaking, there really is no incentive to play Arena at that point. If Fortnite can bring something to the game, like a reward per se, or maybe even a rank, something that is earned from playing Arena, then the game could improve greatly. 
I'm specifically referring to ranks, like a banner or a medal that states your skill level. Something like being Silver 1 in CSGO. A rank system in Arena or reward system could greatly improve the game. Like I mentioned before, Fortnite would be better with shifting content and more frequent updates. But mainly, I want to see a shifting map. For example, what they're doing with Tilted right now is a perfect idea. A map that is progressively changing and always changing, keeping the game fresh for a longer time. A good idea of shifting map is bringing back the block. It was a good creative way of interacting with the community while keeping the map fresh. If the map can constantly shift or change, that could greatly improve the game. Overall, the new Fortnite season has brought many things that I liked and some that I am not a fan of. In the comments below, let me know what you guys thought of both the season and the state of the game. Feel free to discuss and talk about what improvements Fortnite can make to the game. Maybe someone will even see this from Epic. The world will never know. If you guys enjoyed this video or this video style, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps me in the way of showing me that you guys liked the video and liked me as a creator. With that being said, this is the new season of Fortnite and its changes as well as possible improvements. Snap out.